Assalamu alaikum my dear students today i am here with another informative video which is about biology atp paper 6 and that is about the alternate to practical uh, in which the experiments are already performed and students are told to deal with the data my name is adnan khan and i am biology teacher keep in mind that this paper is very much important and this needs a proper preparation just like paper 1 and paper 2 but most of the time it has been seen that uh, some students actually they end up preparing paper 1 and 2 and there is very less time to prepare it but the good thing is that you need some commitment to study this papers all the procedures and here i am going to present some tips for preps or tips for preparations so without wasting any time let's move ahead this paper paper 6 alternative to practical comprises of 40 marks questions they may be two questions or three questions a written paper of questions designed to test past experience of practical work remember that in this paper you are going to deal with the data of the experiments that has already been collected the experiments are most of the time already being performed and this exam paper paper 6 will be called paper 4 after the year 2022 okay and this paper is given 25% weightage which means that if you score 40 out of 40 marks you will get 25% weightage for this paper just like paper 1 and paper 2 is of 50% weightage There are four contents which will be discussed regarding the preparation for the paper 6. Number 1, drawing questions. Number 2, table questions. Number 3, graph questions. And number 4, accuracy or reliability questions. And at the end, at the end I'm going to uh, share with you people some more uh common questions that are actually asked in the paper and tips about them actually first of all the drawing questions <clears throat> the drawing should occupy 50% of the space provided if you are told just to draw then you have to occupy 50% of the provided space when asked to draw a large diagram 60% to 80% of the provided space should be covered that's the first point number second when asked to find image size or actual size or magnification use the following formula now there is a formula magnification is equal to image size image size means the one that is printed on your paper that is figure size divided by actual size in most of the questions actual size is given and by using the same formula you can just change the position of like if you want to find actual size then actual size would be image size divided by magnification so you just do the cross multiplication to rearrange this formula here is an example of the question the photograph below shows a germinating seed okay so this seed is actually uh, started this this has started germination make a large drawing of this germinating seed in the space below label the root hairs on your drawing so remember that you are going to draw in this area and over here as i told you earlier you are going to cover like they have already told you to draw the large drawing so you have to cover like 80% of the area so your drawing should be up to like this this point okay and should should be obvious and should be conspicuous as i'm going to discuss in the next slides here are some more points how you can draw feel confidence in drawing they know you are not a sketch artist so have a realistic scientific approach as they know you are biology student you are not a sketch artist so they're not expecting a lot from you but the thing is that your diagram should be reflecting some data in it okay do not use sketchy lines or fillings most of the students would fill the diagrams 
okay so don't fill it no need to fill it and no need to draw the sketchy lines incomplete lines always plan what you are asked to draw okay first of all just go through the question twice or three times and then just underline what are their requirements for the drawing you don't need to give all details of the picture for example if you are asked to draw a root here there is no need to draw the organelles in each and every cell okay you are just told to draw the outline okay so then you have to draw the boundaries where cells can be counted and they should be shown separate from each other just draw the clear and obvious outlines and layout of the cells with clear boundaries okay so they should be showing like they are having cell walls okay but not all the details if you are going to draw the uh, the large central vacuole or the nucleus okay no need to give the details of the inside label what is asked in the question only okay no need to draw irrelevant labeling because sometimes it's like wrong and it put a wrong uh, uh, a bad impression on the examiner as well over here there is another uh, diagram as you can see it has been drawn very perfect and you can see that whatever is uh, you know uh, labeled it is labeled very accurately this is showing the longitudinal section of a bean seed okay and it has been multiplied 12.8 times so its magnification is equal to length of the drawing over length of the specimen okay so when you actually are uh, looking at this diagram you are having 120 mm which is the length of the drawing on the paper as you can see over here they have uh, uh, actually shown you the length okay and then uh, divide by 12, 10 mm which is the actual length okay and you get this much multiplication or, or times the image has been ma magnified table questions sometimes students are told to, to to shift the data into the table okay so here are some tips how you can draw a perfect table students are asked to draw a table for the data in the graph and vice versa sometimes they are going to transfer the data from the table to the graph and sometimes from graph to table to draw a table the independent variables should be in the left column and the dependent variables should be in the right column if you are not clear about these two please clear your concepts and then you must be 100% sure that independent variables should be in the left column over here just like in here and then the uh, dependent variable should be in the right column include the units in the headings only okay uh, if you are giving it like heading one if it's time you have to give the uh, units as well if it's mass you have to give the units if it's temperature you you should be giving the units underline or bold bold the headings cells of the table should be of the same size and table should occupy 50% to 60% of the provided space in which you are going to draw the table. Just like here, you have been given a table and you have to shift this data and plot it onto a graph. Now, for this purpose, remember that over here you put in X just like this and a Y here. Okay. So the X should be on the X axis, the first one. And this is independent variable. So light intensity in arbitrary units, which means any units. And this is rate of photosynthesis. You have to plot the rate of photosynthesis on Y axis. Okay. And this is on the X axis. And remember, to count the uh, cubes okay and you have to count them perfectly and then do the divisions accordingly then we have the graph questions independent variables should be drawn on x-axis and the dependent variables should be drawn on y-axis as already discussed bar charts is used only when the independent variables variable is definite categories not range of numbers sometimes you are going to draw a bar chart okay so the buildings that you're drawing inside should be separate should be 
concrete. Draw a clear continuous line for line graph and clear bars in the bar chart. And then in the end, they sometimes give you one experiment that has been performed. They would ask you how you can improve the reliability of the experiments. And this is one common question that they ask. Repeating the experiment with different specimen or number of specimen, or you can say uh, increasing the sample size and then taking mean of the collected data, which means taking average of the numbers to make it more accurate and reliable. And here is in the last, here are some tips for the food test questions, which are very common, very popular questions. They are almost cast in every paper. Food tests, as you know about the tests for reducing sugars, procedure for the test of burette test for proteins, and uh, ethanol emulsion test for fats and uh, starch uh, iodine test for starch so you you must be able to write about the procedure and results okay and then quantitative analysis as well so don't forget to include safety precautions such as wearing of gloves or mask or eyes protecting goggles okay uh, if they are telling you that uh, how you will perform safely this procedure so include these safety precautions don't forget to write units in the questions that involve calculations that's it for today if you have any queries you can uh, write in the comments please share with your fellows this uh, video and give us your suggestions uh, if you have any queries please let us know thank you very much for your time please subscribe the channel I love this.